Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Philippine Science High School, Bico Region Campus, where Premier Science High School education begins. Let me invite everyone to please rise for the invocation and the Philippine National Anthem. Okay, so just for a moment, I know you're all excited, right? I'm happy to see everybody here. Okay, so it's been two years since the pandemic and we're lucky to have the much-awaited face-to-face um, classes. Okay, so we also welcome our new students, the grade 7, uh, and welcome to Philippine Science High School, Bicol Region Campus. So I hope later on you will enjoy your first day here in our school.
Now, you may now be seated. Nainitan ba kayo? Mainit ba? <laughs> Sabi ng iba, hindi. Okay, ganyan, kainip, kainit ang pagtanggap namin sa inyo dito sa Pisay BRC. Nagaalab, lumalagab lab. So at this point, to give, to give us our welcome, to give the welcome message, let me call on our ever dynamic Campus Director, Engineer Lorvi B. Pagorogon. Thank you, Sir Jury. My greetings to the members of the academic community of PSHS BRC who were busy preparing the campus for this day. Mamailin Pisino, the Curriculum and Instruction Division Chief, Together with Mamailin Joaquin, the Assistant CID Chief for Student Affairs, Sir Sev Malate, the Assistant CID Chief for Academic Affairs, and the different unit heads and teachers who are there, sitting at your left, no, at your right when you are facing me. Also, Ma'am Joy Olaso, the Student Services Division Chief, together with the Registrar, the Guidance Unit, the Library Unit, the Health Services Unit, and the Dormitory Unit. Sir Jay Basig, the Finance and Administration Division Chief with Ma'am Lorna Hernandez, the Supervising Administrative Officer, together with every member of the division. And a special mention to our utility workers who are extending working hours to prepare the campus for your attendance today. Same greetings to the parents and the grade seven to, to 12 scholars. We are happy to welcome you to PSI BRC. Whether you are grade seven who is beginning a journey with us or a grade eight to nine who are old returning students, but technically new because this is your first time to attend the face-to-face -face classes or the in-person classes. And those grades 10 to 12 um, scholars who missed two years of in-person classes, we are happy to have you back. And we are looking forward to learning exploring and growing together with you in a space where you and us are not separated by screen of a computer. 
The first two years of the pandemic were trying times for all of us. We struggled, but we managed. And during those times, when the mode of teaching and learning were all new and we were all novice, we appreciate your ability to adapt to that evolving situation. And you found opportunities for growth amid the many changes that happened to us. And though this academic year still holds some unknowns for us in light of the ongoing pandemic, I, ser I sincerely hope that we will all remain understanding and flexible amid, the flowing, amid a flowing situation. Nevertheless, despite the unique circumstances we are in, we are all thrilled to have you back in the campus. Here in Pisay, you are part of a strong campus community that values excellence, integrity, and service to nation. And just like the mainstream schools in the country, we are also a public school. And you are very fortunate to have the best curriculum with the best teachers to, to teach the PSI curriculum. And the government has provided you with facilities to hone you to what PSI aims you to become. PSI life is not a privileged life of comfort. It is a sacrifice of being away from your families and the de and determination to acquire the knowledge that PSI curriculum has to offer. May these privileges and challenges make you the leaders in science that the country wishes you to become. Good luck and God bless PSI. Thank you, Ma'am Lorvi, for those words. Now, to get to know the men and women behind PSI DRC, Ma'am Lorvi will introduce to you the, the members of the first members of the faculty and staff. So again, uh, let me introduce to you the leadership and management of PSHS, PSHS system. Let me start by the, by the Department of Science and Technology, who at the same time is the chairman of the Board of Trustees of PSHS, Secretary Renato U. Siludum. Next to Secretary Siludum is the Executive Director of PSHS system, Director Lilia T. Habakon. And of course, yours truly, the campus director of PSHS Beacon Region Campus. And the MANCO members, this is the management committee me members composed of Sir J. Basig, Jose Videyo Malate, Ma'am Joy Melga Olazo, Ma'am Maria Eileen Pesino, and Ma'am Maileen Ojoaquin. So the three are the division chiefs, Sir J, Basig, the FAD chief. Sir J, please come forward. Nakalimutan ko kayong tawagin. Dr. Joy Melga Biola, so the SSD chief. Maria Eileen Arpicino, the CID chief. And the two angels of Ma'am Eileen Pesino, Ma'am Eileen Joaquin, and Sir Sev Malato. Okay, they are the Manco members and the three the one handsome person here and the two others are the members of the uh, are the division chief thank you also from the office of the campus director the discipline officer we have maria linda m Reyes, mom Jevons Pablo C. Messia. Sir Jevons. And we have Dr. Arnold P. Berme. Okay. 
So, so they are the members of the discipline. Uh, they are the discipline officers for each uh, for the different grade levels. Thank you, moms. Thank you, mom and sirs. So for the office of the campus director, also we have the two as the two OCD secretaries, but I think they are not around. Um, but uh, let me mention the names of Sally Christine C. Pacamara and Jessa Lorena P. Martinez. So good morning to everyone. Uh, I'm proud to announce the, the staff, the employees from uh, the FAD, from the Finance and Admin Division, headed by me, of course. And we have as our supervising admin officer, Mom Lorna P. Hernandez. But unfortunately, we're still busy accepting uh, students there at the, uh, at the gate. Kayang iba pong members ay nandun pa. So Mom Lorna Hernandez. Uh, we also have our new HR, Admin Officer 5 HRMO, Miss Annabel Delovino. We have our uh, Admin Officer 5 uh, in charge with the procurement. So she's at the procurement uh, unit, Miss Agnes P. Agnes. And we have an Admin Aid 4 under her unit. Mr. Edgar P. Colliantes. Our accountant is uh, Mr. Clint D. Plazo. And we have our administrative assistant under the, account the accounting unit, and she's si Mr. Elmar V. Bubat. Our uh, Admin Officer 4 in charge with the Budget Office, we have Miss Janet D. Adan. Our Admin Officer 3, who is also the Dispersing Officer or our cashier, is Miss Josie G. Papaya. Our Admin Officer 3 under the Supply and Property, we have Mr. Al Francis Attractivo. Our admin officer four under the records unit. We have Ms. Fe S. Balang. Our ISA or information system analyst one. We have Mr. Alton G. Bastunia. We have also our information system analyst uh, two in the name of Mr. Marco Despi. Mr. Marco. Also, we have an admin aid one, Mr. Roy G. Atole. And uh, again, and din siya sa may gate. We also have our admin aide, one, uh, also the driver two, Mr. Uh, Mr. Mark A. Carreras. We have an admin assistant three, Mr. Jonard Dizon. The uh, unit also has our uh, uh, secretary or office assistant, and she is me, Bernadette Reyes, the namesake of reported at GMH. Okay. So that would be all. Let me introduce to you the FAD, the Finance and Admin Division. Thank you. Okay, good morning. 
Um, I'm also happy to present to you the members of the Student Services Division. Uh, I hope they're here. So if you're here, please uh, come up the stage. So I'll start with uh, Sir Philip Jordan V. Ramboyon, our Guidance Services Associate. Sir PJ. So, kilala nyo, uh, si Sir PJ. Uh, from time to time, nakakausap niya sila. Siya. Okay, so our next is Miss Charibel M. Despi, also Guidance Services Associate. So, sila yung dalawang guidance counselors natin. Then we have our nurse, Miss Sharon R. Granada. Miss Sharon? Well, ah, well, okay, wala. Okay, next is Miss Sheena P. Grijalvo. Miss Grijalvo? Okay, so siya sa Registrar's Office. So all documents uh, must be submitted to her. Okay, next is our librarian. We have Miss Meda Valencia. Okay, Ms. Meda. Then we have our two dormitory managers. Uh, I'm not just sure kung nandito sila, but we have Ms. Alma A. Crucillo, the dormitory manager for the girls. And Mr. Jose Benci Siconde, dormitory manager for the boys. Okay, uh, they are busy right now. But under their uh, unit, we have also different mem uh, uh, about 10, okay, 10 uh, dormitory manager assistants. Okay, so anyway, uh, you will meet them when you get inside the dorm later. Okay, thank you. So these are the members of the Student Services Division. Ah, wala. Uh, may uh, assistant din po pala. Ako si Miss Chin or Linsea Colombres. Nandito ba siya? And si Miss Francia so, Torres. Okay, thank you po. Good morning. So I'm happy and excited to announce to you our competent faculty and staff under the Curriculum and Instruction Division. So starting with my two assistant CID chiefs, assistant CID chief for academic affairs, we have Mr. Sebedeo S. Malate. So uh, teachers, please come up the stage as I call your name. Assistant CID chief for student affairs, we have Ms. Mylin O. Joaquin. For the different academic units, starting with the biology unit, we have Dr. Maria Feliciana Benita M. Iloreta. She is the biology unit coordinator. Maminet. Under her, we have Ma'am Ferly J. Lovete. Miss Joanna Lu El Mesia. Miss Hannah Faye A. Emila. And Mr. Gilbert H. Morente. Okay, next. Next, for the chemistry unit, the chemistry unit coordinator, we have Ms. Alfa Rowena O. Pimentel. Under her unit, unit we have Ms. Beverly M. Del Rosario. Mr. Junli M. Vargas. Mr. Melvin C. Bumanglag. And Mr. Mark Anthony B. Palaez. 
Okay. Next, computer science unit. The COMSA unit coordinator, we have Mr. John Rayner M. Joaquin. Under him are Sir Rufi R. Fajardo. And Mr. Tom Jordan G. Secundo. Mathematics unit, the mathematic, mathematics unit coordinator, we have Ms. Mary Jane M. Remeter. And under her, we have Ms. Jennifer M. Magno Lagoy. And Ms. Evangeline A. Chavez. Ms. Maria Linda M. Tres Reyes. Dr. Arnel C. Barre. And Dr. Arnel P. Bermeno. Okay, thank you. Okay, next, the physics unit. The physics unit coordinator is Mr. Andrew S. Tenorio. And yours truly. And we have Ms. Gliza Ario below. And Dr. Feli B. Buera. Thank you. Research unit, the research unit coordinator, we have Mr. Gio A. Elegado. Under him, we have Mr. Jetro Arthur M. Cledera. Mr. Luis Julius G. Bragais. And Ms. Shani A. Taduran. Next, technology unit. The technology unit coordinator is Mr. John Ryal S. De Los Santos. Mr. Under him, we have Mr. Ricky S. Oropesa. Mr. Jevons Pablo G. Mesilla. And Mr. Cebedeo J. Malate. Thank you. Next, English unit. The English unit coordinator, we have Mr. Jerry M. Noveno. And under him, we have Ms. Maricor A. Barbonio. Ms. Mylene O. Joaquin. Dr. Joy Melgabi Olazo. And Mr. John Richard B. Moreno. Thank you. Under Filipino unit, the Filipino unit coordinator, we have Ms. Irma M. Bue. The unit members are Ms. Mary Ann A. Templado, Mr. Martin B. Brutas Jr., and Mr. Salvador D. Lumbria. Next, PEM department, the PEM unit. The PEM unit coordinator, we have Mr. Joel R. Reginales. And under him are Mr. Francis P. Barrio. Mr. Mark Anthony M. Del Rosario. And Ms. Irish M. Rocha. SOCSAI unit, for the SOCSAI unit coordinator, we have Mr. Victor Hugo D. Algabre. And under him are Mr. J.P. Basig, Mr. Armin M. Apostol, Mr. Michael J. Mendoza, 
Miss Hazel B. Valencia and Miss Delia P. Casasis. For the CID staff under the Science Laboratories, we have Sir Joseph F. De Chavez, Miss Saira P. Credo, Miss Danica O. Navida, and Mr. Marco M. Despi. Joseph, come up the stage, please. And lastly, so under my office, I have a secretary, so Miss Mikey Amata. And ba si Miss Mikey? Siya yung palagi na meet you doon sa office, sa CID office. So I think na doon ata sa attendance. Okay, so that's all. So these are my uh, competent faculty and staff under CID. Thank you, teacher. There you have it. There you have it, your, uh, your teachers for school year 2022 to 2023. So at this point, there will be some announcements. So let me call first, Ma'am Joy Olazo. Okay, um, to all parents, uh, especially grade 7, 8, and 9. Ng mga nandito po. Um, I would like to uh, take this opportunity to tell you that before leaving the campus, be sure nakapag-leave kayo ng instructions regarding sa pag ng mga bata, ng mga anak nyo this weekend. Especially yung mga hindi po weekenders. So, uh, dapat po, uh, yung instruction nyo, uh, I think you were sent with a form about parents' instruction sheet. Either you're going to have your child uh, be fetched by a carpool or you fetch them yourselves or you will allow them to leave the campus by themselves. Importante po yun. Okay? So another is yung carpool. Yung carpool. Now, dapat po, bago po kayo umalis ngayon, kung ikakarpool niyo yung anak nyo, iba ang susundo sa anak nyo, dapat po meron kayong contract, signed contract with the carpool services that you avail, that you have availed. And it should, they, uh, this contract should be submitted to me, to my office, um, together with the ORCR po ng, ng car and a uh, license po ng driver. That's also very important because we will not have your child leave the campus without that specific instruction or that, uh, that contract. Okay po? And another po, yung food services. So before you leave, be sure you have coordinated with the canteen about your child's availment of food whether they will have uh, will be on a fixed uh, scheme or they will uh, avail of the pay as you order scheme okay po so bago po kayo umalis kailangan po itong um kumbaga ma-settle niyo po uh, before the weekend or today pala today before you leave the campus so lastly after this i would like to request uh, the grade 7 because we'll be having our our recognition for grades 8 and 9. So I would like to request na po yung grade 7 uh, together with one parent para po sa pag-settle sa dorm. 
So, ang una po namin i-accommodate yung mga grade 7. Then, after the recognition, to be followed by the grade 8, grades 8 and 9. So, specific instructions po, one, one child, one parent po ang papasok sa dorm. You will only be given 30 minutes to fix your child's uh, things. Now, after that, lalabas po muna kayo sa dorm. Uh, if possible, kasama pa rin yung anak nyo, tapos syempre mag-uusap-usap pa kayo. De, para pumasok naman po yung iba, para hindi po tayo crowded sa loob ng dorm. So the names are already posted at the dorm, uh, doors of the dorm. So pakiting na na lang po ang, in, uh, ang mga names po nila. Okay? So if there are other uh, concerns, um, paki-message na lang po ako. Ay another po, uh, sa mga parents po, uh, special weekenders sa laundry, paki-coordinate na lang po kay Miss Grace Rodriguez. Uh, yung gusto po na mag-avail ng kanyang laundry services, pwede po kayo pumunta kay Miss Grace, nandoon po siya sa kanting. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you, Ma'am Joy. Uh, let me call on Ma'am Aileen Pesino for some announcements for CID. Ma'am Aileen, so there's no announcement. Okay, so at this point, um, to give us his message, let me call on Mr. Hoover Picar, our GPDA president. Hello, yes, malakas ang boses ko. Pwede naman ako mag-alis kasi karirelease lang po ng RT-PCR ko, negative po ako. Kasi magbabantay uli ako sa kapatid ko bukas ng umaga. Okay, uh, good morning once again. I still remember May 24, 2019 po, nung ako'y naging presidente ng ating GPTA. Uulitin ko lang yung sinabi ko. Good morning, parents! Good morning, scholars! Teka muna, ang scholars, parang ano, ano ba, masaya ba kayo? Good morning, scholars! Tasang kamay, huwag kayo naman mga scholars! Yan! Okay, good morning po sa Pisay Admin, teaching and non-teaching staff. Good morning. Ito po, parang inulit ko lang noong 2019. Noong ano, ang aga ko naman maging emotional. Uh, by the mere fact na tayo yun na ditong lahat, gusto kayo palala sa mga parents to tell you frankly, Ako po ay pa na taon ko na as parent ng isang scholar. My, uh, my daughter, my only daughter, my only child is uh, graduating this uh, sa school year 22-23. But hindi po ako magbabago ng sasabihin sa inyo mga parents. Makikita naman dyan sa mga GCs natin na binuo na I will always remind you na dapat alalahanin natin na by the mere fact that we are here in Pisay PRC, we are all blessed. Yun pa lang, isipin nyo na lang na blessed tayong lahat. Okay? Inire-remind ko sa mga parents, kanina marami na po ako nakausap. Alam nyo, ang tangi may tutulong nyo sa anak nyo. Suporta at pagmamahal. Okay? Suporta at pagmamahal. Okay po? Let's trust the system. Let's trust the, the teachers of PISA BRC, the admin. They, they've been here for the last 24 years. In fact, next year, we will be celebrating the 25th foundation of PISA BRC. Para walang lang ako makalimutan, para sigurado lang ito po some announcements. Nasabi ko na, we are blessed. Thank you to Pisay Admin na pagbibigyan po tayo doon sa iba nating kalahilingan. Lalo-lalo na doon sa grade 7 to 9, one parent, one scholar sa makapag-settle ano, down po sa mga rooms nyo. Dininig po nila ang ating ano, request. Actually, request ninyo. Okay, so kahit paano, sabi ko nga po sa inyo, hindi naman po laging kada request natin ibibigay. Pero magaling na yung nagsasabi, eh malam mo ko ibigay. Okay? Second, i-remind ko lang po ulit tayo, doon po sa hindi pa membro ng mga GCs, okay? We have, ito, ito po mga GCs natin ha, we have uh, PISAI BRC G7-10, PISAI BRC G7-T10, at saka PISAI Bicol Parents, 
Those three GCs are exclusive for parents of grade 7 to 10. Kung hindi pa po kayo membro, please do so. Mag-request po kayo na i-add doon kasi open naman po yun. Although, as of now, ang hindi pa po filled up ay yung PSI BRC G7 to 10. Yun po, kung hindi pa po kayo mie miembro. Meron din po tayong GC for specific for 2K23 at saka 2K24. Yun po yung grade 11 at saka grade 12. Kasi po, iba-iba na rin po ang mga pangangailangan at concerns ng mga grade 11 at saka grade 12. And let me remind you, para at least uh, ngayon po, pagkakataon na po, especially grade 7 to 9 po, we have 10 clusters, 10 cluster or district. Camarines Norte, Naga 1, 2, 3 or Camarines or 1, 2, 3, Partido District, Rinconada District, Ang Albay 1 po, yan yung Tabaco area, Ang Albay 2, Ligaspi Daraga, Albay 3 is Ligao area, then Sorsogon, Masbate and Catanduanes. Normally, each district or cluster have their own GCs kasi bawat cluster may kanya-kanya rin pong kanilang mga concerns. But would appreciate also that you also be a member of our general GCs. Sabi ko to sa ibang mga parents kanina, I welcome, I am happy na napupuno po ang mga GCs natin. Bakit? It means you want to be involved, you want to know. Hindi ko nakasalanan, ay ako po, huwag niyong pagkwento ang pagdating sa pagpo-post. At pagdating sa pagpaparating sa inyo ng gusto iparating ng admin at pati naman sa admin, to tell you frankly, buhay na patuto ang admin, lahat po ng inyong mga ipinopost na gusto iparating, wala po ko sinasala doon. Forward lang ako ng forward. Bahala na ang admin at teaching staff kung paano mag-appreciate ng ating mga concerns. Okay. So right now po, how I wish that I can also introduce to you the set of officers. But uh, let me ano, uh, acknowledge muna po yung mga representatives po para at alam nyo rin lang yung hindi pa nakakaalam. Ang Camarines Norte po, ang cluster representative is, is Ma'am Aimee Yet. Ang Alba, ang Naga 1, 2, 3 is as Melvin Cayamon, uh, Cayonte. Okay? Rinconada is uh, Thea Belmonte. Partido is uh, Maril, uh, uh, Formaleho, Quiñano Formaleho. Albay 1 po, yung tega, tabako po, mag-election pa lang daw po sila. Ang Albay 2 po, ang Ligaspi is Ma'am Lee Halwage. Ang, ang Albay 3, Ligaw is Ma'am Chona Pintor. Ang Sorsogon po, I'm still waiting. Ang uh, Katanduanis po, si Sir Edward uh, Fernandez. Si uh, Ma'am Irene Anabe po, pagdating sa Masbate. Okay? So dalawa na lang po inintay ko, yung Sorsogon at saka po yung Albay 1, na wala po pong ipinipresent. But definitely, I'd like to acknowledge yung outgoing po, yung umalis na po ng miyembro natin ng GPTA. Ma'am Joy Regala, our outgoing Vice President, Joy Regala. Uh, our Treasurer, Yoli Atoli from Partido, Lucille Berian, Berinia, at saka si Auditor na Alan Santiago. May apat po. And because of that, ito segue. Alam na po ba natin na so October 28, mayroong Foundation Day na magaganap? Nasabihan na po kayo lahat. So October 28 po, magkakaroon din po tayo ng general election for the officers po. We will open up the position of the president down to the business manager. Magiging sisimplihan na lang po natin to na by show of hand, masiguro no more than one hour, magkakaroon po tayo ng election sa October 28 for the new set of officers for school year 22-23. Uh, okay po. Next po, uh, last na po to, last two. For your information, doon po sa hindi nakakalam, technically po, meron pong annual dues ang GPTA. For now, hindi ko po kayo gagambalain kasi pag na po nabuo na uli yung bagong set of officers by October, doon na lang po tayo mag, uh, mag-re-release ng ano pa yung mga bagong panuntunan or kung meron po bang matatagdor o mababawasan ng annual dues for the GPTA. But for now, ipinataalam ko po sa inyo na hindi po tayo masyadong nangulit sa inyo or nangulekta ng annual dues uh, kasi nga po, dito sa pandemic, but definitely after we elected the new set of officers this coming October 28, we will have to remind you and we will have to relate to you that we will have some juice to be paid for by the guardian or the parent of each scholar. Lastly, okay, there are three main concerns po before mag-start ang ating school year, especially the last one week. One, yung Request nyo na one scholar, one parent for grade 7 to 9 makapasok para ma-assist ang inyong anak. Mangyayari po yun. Pinaliwanag na kanina ni Mama Joy na pumayag po sila. But definitely, with the assurance po na we will continue our 
uh, IATF protocol, mi ma a minimum health protocol wearing face mask while inside the dormitory. Okay, please. And su sundin lang po natin yung pasistema yung pasusunod nila. Second, with regards po sa canteen, yung pagkain po, sabi ko nga sa inyo doon ano, tingnan muna natin, we play it by ear or by, ano, by, uh, ngayon for the 1 September. Uh, sabi yung mga fixed rate, fixed meal, pag-aralan nyo po muna and from there, we will revalidate kung yung ating mga request din na mas sarapan ang pagkain, mas maging nutritious ang pagkain, is matutupad. So for now, yun muna masasabi pagdating sa pagkain. Next, yung issue, ito matindi. Sakit, sakit. Sino ang hindi nagkai, na, naging ano, okay lang walang sakit? Taas ang kamay sa inyo ng sa mga parents. Okay lang sa inyo walang sakit ang room. Taas ang kamay. Taas ang kamay ng issue ang sakit. Taas ang kamay. Ba? May iba dead ma. Okay? Samantalang tayo sa GC, wala na kayong ginawa kundi i-PM ako. Sir, sakit, sakit. Okay, ganito po ang issue. Sa sakit po, breaking news. Sabi naman talaga ni Mayor Lord, di ba magpo-provide sila ng maraming uh, saksakan within the area ng mga study area. But I've learned na yung pong sabi nga magaling na ibigay yung negative tapos yung pala may konting positive. Hindi naman po lahat pala ng rooms ay nawala ng sakit. Wala pong papalakpak diyan. Okay? Isang room lang po ang may sakit. Hindi po. Kasi po, they have decided may mga rooms talagang kailangan i-condemn muna yung room ng may sakit. Pero may mga rooms po naman pala talaga na mayroon pa rin naman pong sakit. But for the meantime po, hindi po pwedeng baka mamaya bigla may magpipem. Press over, bakit yung anak ko wala? Bakit yung katabi meron? Kuminsan, swertihan po yun. Hindi po namili dito na kung sino ang nasa may sakit at wala. But definitely, Gagawan, ginagawa ng paraan po ng PSI admin, ng SSD, kung paano mamamaximize ang available source of power supply. Okay po? So, good news pa rin yun kasi hindi naman po lahat pala ng ano, rooms, eh, kinondem ang sakit. Meron po talagang kakondem-kondem. At meron naman pwedeng pag-isipan at meron talagang dapat mahalin. Okay? So, yun po, sakit ha, clear tayo doon. Ito naman ay pagmamalaki natin. Bago ako umakit sa stage na to, Ma'am Lorby, kumusta ang tubig? Yon ang alam nyo, 7 to 9 parents. Ay nako, swerte nyo. Sana all. Kasi nung ako po ay naging uh, 2017 dumating dito, lalo na sa mga magulang ng lalaki, okay, may boys na uh, scholar, oy, mga boys, Sanay ba kayo maligo sa gripo sa ilalim ng puno ng ano? Wala namang nyug dito. Inabutan ko yan. Every Monday, every Monday. Ang mga boys na liligo sa bawat gripong available. Hindi kayo naliligo sa dorm. Dati nga daw sa sapa pa. Pero yung sapang pinaliliguan, ginawa ng resort. May bayad na. Okay? Pero ngayon, asuran sa akin ni Ma'am Lorby, magsawa kayo sa tubig. Ah, uh, in fairness kay na Ma'am Lorby, at sa sa GPTA group of officers noong 2019, pinagtulong-tulungan natin 'yan. And ah, uh, yun naman po talaga very particular ako talaga noong time na 'yon. And until now naman ba to talaga? Tiningnan ko naman talaga, Jineko. In fact, hindi ko sinara yung isang gripo diyan. Tingnan ko free flowing. Pero at least ang tubig hindi po problema. Maliligo ang anak nyo at least two times a day. Okay? De. Ma'am Lorby ah, ikinokomit ko to ah. Okay. Kasi kung hindi, mawalan daw kayo ng tupig, naka-purified water ay panliligo ng anak nyo. Okay? Pero the point is, at least nawala na yung ganong issue, yung sa tubig. So, eto na. So once again, hindi ko na patatagalin. Uh, sa October 28, magpapangipangita tuloy as a personal, kasama na po ang grade 10 to 12. And we will be here as one big happy family. Hindi po natin may alis sa isang pamilya magkakatampuhan, may magagalit, may mapapagalitan. But as long as alam mo na kanya ka napagalitan dahil may concern pa sa iyo. Kasi kabahan ka pag hindi ka na pinapansin. Okay, so to the scholars, handa na ba kayo? Scholars!
the journey of being a Pisay scholar. Thank you. Thank you, sir, who were for um, always being supportive of Pisay DRC. Now, before we continue, um, let us get to know, of course, our newest members of the campus. Okay, so I will let me introduce to you the, the section of grade seven. So students, once your section is called, kindly stand up to be recognized. Let us start with grade seven, Diamond. Next, grade seven, Emerald. Next, we have grade seven, Sapphire. And of course, okay, let us all recognize the parents of our grade seven students. Kindly rise up, please. Yeah. Okay, so welcome again to PSI BRC. So I know that you will enjoy your stay here. So at this point, to break the monotony of our program, let me call on Ma'am Irish, Irish Rocha of the PEM unit for an intermission number.
a soulful rendition of the song, an OPM song. Okay, so I hope, okay, by the end that you graduate in Pisay BRC, mas ganon magiging maganda ang bosses nyo dahil ang music teacher nyo ay si Ma'am Irish Rocha. Okay, so at this point, at this juncture, we shall now recognize students who made it to the di director's list. We shall also cite um, the awards received by some students in national and international uh, competitions. So with me right now is Mom Evangeline Chavez to help me do the honors. Okay, so just some instruction. So after you're awarded on stage, kindly stay um, there uh, in front of me to pour the pictorial. Okay, you will have your pictorial with your previous um, advisor, class advisor. Okay, so let me just remind everyone the order. We'll first have seven diamond, emerald, and then we have sapphire for grade seven last year. And then we have also um, grade eight last year, ilang, rosal, and then sampagita. Again, so after you're awarded here on stage, please proceed uh, there on the floor there for the pictorial with your class advisor. So these are the awardees, the uh, director's list uh, listers for school year 2021-2022. Okay, so for the grade 7 scholars, you may now proceed to the dormitories to settle down. Dear parents, okay, kindly. Okay, so dear parents of our scholars who are DL, kindly accompany your um your children on stage to receive their certificate and uh, medals.
Now, to start with our achievers for school year 2021-2022, let's have Grade 7, Diamond. Janice Fortun B. Bobier. Dustin F. Cunio. Marcos Jeremiah J. Alves. Jose Manuel O. Ong. Theodore Benedict H. Ramos. Zylo Nia G. Arcilia. And Desiree D. Abiliana. Mary Esther is a silver medalist in the 2022 Philippine International Mathematical Olympiad Heat Round. Precious May C. Navarro. Jaslyn V. Niebres. Jaisel Emerin T. Orbon. Zara Venice G. Sorita. For special award, Alvin Emmanuel A. Belmonte. Alvin Manuel is a silver medalist in the 2022 Philippine International 
Mathematical Olympiad Heat Round. Now, the achievers for grade 7 Emerald. Paul Vincent Assis. Nico John Buenconsejo. Nico John is top 24 in Sipnayan 2021 into the realms. Ramon Silverio Z. Herrera. Eugene Luis D. Pinana. Vito Pio Orabago. Vito Pio is a bronze medalist in the 2022 Philippine International Mathematical Olympiad. Heat round. Kervin Blaze B. Tosso. Bridget Ann A. Catorce. Prezia Nicole Z. Gambito. Jillian L. Lim. There, Denise M. Orbia. Daislin P. Patriarcha. Aryan K. O. Salinas. Samantha Anika B. San Jose. Maria Teresa F. Toriano.
Alexandra M. Yanesa. The Achievers for Grade 7 Sapphire. Roy Joseph C. Absedi. John Ridge C. Alcantara. Ross Abram A. Assis. John Andre A. Bresho. John Andre is a bronze medalist in the Vanda Science 2021 Global Round Individual. Bronze medalist in the Vanda Science 2021 Global Round Team. Gold medalist in the Vanda Science 2021 International Round. Bronze medalist ASMOPS Science 2021 Preliminary Round. Merit Awardee ASMOPS Science 2021 National Round. Youth Excellence in Science Award, award Recipient BOST YES 2021. Silver medalist, Vanda Science 2022 International Round. And uh, bronze medalist in Vanda Global Finals and with honors in the ASEP 2021. Chad Aaron C. Kagitla. Kyle and D. Mabayao. Kurt Kirby G. Lagrimas. Cesar Servin Jr. F. Sargento. Sophia Juliana C. Alto. Isha Louis D. Begino. Zerisma Jody E. Boste. Catherine P. Escalo.
ナビジョイジーハラペーホー。Sarina A. Mabine. Dazzling O. Melio. Isabel Christine Enrico. Rian Siza E. Rodriguez. Don Elisa Z. Tevez. Don Elisa is a gold medalist in the 2022 Philippine International Mathematics Olympiad Heat Round. She is also a bronze medalist in a junior division in the 2022 International Kangaroo Mathematic Competition Philippines. Stephanie Venice L. Usman. Shikanaya Hermione Valerie B. Valerio. Althea Kate Z. Villasis. Kiara Zoe B. Samantha. Joyce R. Zuniega. And now, the achievers for Grade 8 Ilang Ilang. Jan Ray A. Abilita. Josh Kyle Hill B. Beret. Enzo K. Ilagan.
Carlo G. and Roy G. Matanggihan. Ian Gabriel Spes B. Canyones. Joaquin Eudor M. Ronan. Zach Michael A. Ross. Rose and Dorothy R. Abanis. Micaela Gabriel R. Wagnes. J.D. Kina L. Balio. Lynn Marie Inadon. Jamil Kyla C. Vergaes. Samantha B. Chiang. Sheena Malane P. Turiano. For special awards, Chris Matthew E. Darilay. Chris Matthew is a bronze medalist in the 2022 International Kangaroo Mathematics Competition, Philippines. He is also a bronze medalist, secondary one in the Hong Kong International Mathematics Olympiad Finals. Deborah Catherine A. Gunoy. Deborah is fifth place in the Agrikonomia 2022 Essay Writing Competition Filipino. Top 5 UP PAEC Agrikonomia 2022 Essay Writing Competition Filipino. Thank <laughs> you.
Now, the achievers for Grade 8, Rosa. Francis Aaron A. Balacha. Ron L.J. B. Corporal. Paulo Jacob Roy C. Matanguian. Eric Fabian Dave A. Mendez. Dave is a bronze medalist in the Philippine Mathematical Olympiad 2022 Heat Round. Bronze medalist in the 2022 International Kangaroo Mathematics Competition, Philippines. Mark Justin T. Sevilla. Samantha Claire A. Bachelier. Sandra A. Barre. Bernadette M. Borlagdan. Simon Antoinette B. Chavez. Ashley Isabel L. Devera. Amanda Isabel T. Guzman. Ida Celine P. Nuiles. Rian A. Presbytero. A. 
Monica Zymon M. Sario. Annika is top 10 finalist in, in Kapnayan 2022, the prescribed dose infographic making contest. Sophia Jamila M. Ogaban. The Achievers for Grade 8 Sampaguita. Hendrich Francis D. Bagay. Hendrich is the bronze medalist in the 2021 Guangdong Hong Kong Macau Greater Bay Area Mathematical Olympiad Hit Round. He is also a bronze medalist in the 2022 Philippine International Mathematical Math Mathematical Olympiad Heat Round. Right, Gavin Clive C. Bailon. Bailon. Edgar Matthew is corralled. Zainir Pauline R. Francisco. Gian Marco R. Inayon. David Angelo A. Mohar. David Angelo is class rank awardee, campus level SOF, International Mathematics Olympiad. Vincent Ian M. Pinaflor. David Nico C. Zappe. Lorraine Angelic G. Bajola. Eliza Dane E. Bailon. Angelia Francie B. Brescia.
Charmaine D. Florin. Patricia May H. Galape. Jewel Venice M. Mapusao. Justin Andrea Y. Rances. Stephanie Valerie D. Vista. Congratulations, scholars, and to the proud parents. give us a message is a summa cum laude graduate of BS Chemical Engineering, University of the Philippines, Diliman, BSHS BRC Batch 2018. Ladies and gentlemen, here is Mr. Ian Jason Panghilinan Ebyo. Good morning, Ms. Ibicol. Good morning din sa ating campus director, Ma'am Lorvi B. Pagorogon. Sa ating CID Chief, Ma'am Maria Aileen Arpicino. Sa ating SD Chief, Ma'am Joy Melga B. Olazo. Sa ating FAD Chief, Sir J.P. Basig. And to other members of the management committee as well. Good morning. And also to our very competent faculty and staff, at sa lahat ng students and parents ngayon na, na nandito, good morning! We are here to recognize and appreciate all the efforts that you put in your academics as well as in competitions. This event is important as this marks the end of a school year and not just a regular school year, but a year in the middle of the pandemic. And to add and overcome nyo yung dalang challenges nito, may be physically, emotionally, and financially din, Kasi halos huminto ang nasa paligid natin, pero kinailangan pa rin natin magpatuloy. Kaya, congratulations na agad sa lahat ng students, parents, and to the whole school for simply making it this far. Since you are here naman sa ceremony na to, it means na you are doing something right in your studies. Diba? So as your kuya, what I will share with you then, I based on my experience, a way on how you can possibly maintain it and how you can bounce back from a setback siguro along the way. Entering Pisa noon, my mindset was, for the most part, mag lang to keep up sa class kasi ang alam ko that time, I one, mahirap yung magiging lessons, and two, magagaling ang mga kapasit. Which are true, by the way. So, kailangan ko makasabay kasi ayoko namang masayang opportunity and yung gasto sa akin. Pero, Ang hindi ko lang unexpect nun ay yung part na kailangan ko lagi mag-aral. Nang grade 7, around 3 p.m., wala na kaming class so I have plenty of time to do other things, a.k.a. laro hanggang before my curfew. 
Although, to be fair naman, from 7 to 10 p.m. na ay study period and strict your implementation. So kahit wala ako sa good mag-aral, kailangan ako titigan yung books or notes ko. Pero before 7 p.m. naman, kaya niyo ako maaabutan sa loob ng room sa dorm. Makikita niyo ako sa labas, naglalaro ng basketball, volleyball, table tennis, futsal, or parintero. Basta halos lahat ata na meron dyan na lalaro, na try ko na. O siguro makikita niyo ako kausap friends ko. Nagulat and natuwa rin ako nun na in one school year, maraming ganap sa isay. And to name a few, merong acquaintance party, buwa ng wika, foundation week celebration, Halloween party, Christmas party, Manatee's Day, and din drums. Usually, sa ganitong events, meron ding competitions or presentations either by class, by batch, or by assigned group. Ako, yung favorite ko talaga nun ay yung in drums kasi early in my childhood, exposed na ako to sports since both of my parents ay basketball and volleyball players back then. I first learned basketball and yung volleyball na develop ko na lang kung high school kakalaro with friends every afternoon. And same din sa other sports like table tennis, badminton, and futsal. I also learned playing new instruments dito like banduya and guitar. Now, siguro mas maraming instruments na yung tinuturo kasi may recorder na rin dati, pero di na namin yun naputan. In addition dito, marami rin clubs na you can join that will supplement your interests. My clubs nun were math club and then later physics club. Also, I joined the school newspapers, yung isa, yung Arabadab, sa Filipino, and then later, sa The Bicol Scholar, yung sa English naman, both as a cartoonist. Now, pwede na rin kayo mag-join sa Rondalia and my choir na rin, from what I heard. I can remember, nung grade 7 ako, ay nag-join din ng street dance competition yung Pisay, uh, yun yun sa Ibalon Festival. And also, if you want more leadership ganaps, you can join SSG, pero di na ako naging member. I just want to tell you. Lastly, yung isa sa mga gusto kong gawin talaga nung high school ay ang mag-represent ng school. Kasi first of all, free yung gastos for the most part. Like, kailangan mo lang magdala ng additional pocket money for yourself. And two, excuse ka sa classes. Sino ba naman ayaw nun? And three, nakakandala. Although, kidding aside, what I liked about it ay I get deeper appreciation sa topics and also nakaka-close ko yung mga kasama ko sa competition. And I met people from other Pisay campuses. Kaya nung college, I met some and easier na silang mag friend. So why am I sharing this to you, di ba? Parang orientation. Pwede, pero my goal here is to share to you na marami kayong pwedeng gawin and pagkaabalahan dito at hindi lang apat. And gusto kong ipaalam sa inyo ito as early as now. Kasi nasa stage pa kayo na nag-discover ng mga gusto niyong gawin or mga kaya at hindi kaya. So the best way to know is to try Sabi nga, diba, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. And that's true. Kaya kung kinakabahan ka to try new things or learn new skills, that's a good sign. Okay lang kabahan kasi if di ka kinakabahan, then you are not doing something impactful to your life or your families or friends or society. So yung kabahan na feel natin in trying new things is good kasi we know na what we are doing is important. And in the long term, yung confidence na nami you in trying new stuff ay magiging handy sa buhay natin. Along the way, you will meet people or events that will inspire you and change or help solidify the path you want to take. In fact, in my event dito sa campus, I attended a presentation sa research fair na na-maze talaga ako. And it is part of my interest in chemistry. Yung research from what I remember was about zinc oxide as photocatalysts in separating hydrogen and oxygen from water. It was so amazing kasi mahirap yun gawin sa pag-aalap ko. And with the use of photocatalyst lang, kasi bibilad mo lang sa araw, ay meron ka ng hydrogen oxygen passes. I knew I liked Ken back then, but I think this was one of those moments na nasolidify talaga. You will also meet people with the same interests, principle, and ugali na rin, na makaka-vibes mo talaga in many ways. Create fine memories with your friends and going solid yung friendship na yun. Isipin na lang natin na di ka naman masasamahan niya na grades mo kapag malumot ka. Di ka naman yan makakausap. Although, we should acknowledge na masaya na may mataas na grades, so we need to balance. Hanggang ngayon, the friends I made no high school ay friends ko pa rin daw. Sila actually yung nagpapalive din ng buhay ko, especially nung kasagsagan ng pandemic. Marami siguro sa inyo na pumasok sa Pisaya na sobrang competitive. And I understand. Okay lang naman yun kasi it makes us aspire for more. Ako dati, I was amazed by my friends na nag-top TL at parang ang dalit pa sa kanila. Meron talaga tayong ganong friend 
na ang dali-dali lang talaga para sa So, I wanted to achieve din yun. Hindi man madali for me, but I really tried. Until the last quarter of grade 10 when I got it. Entering senior high, nag-chill na lang ako kasi ang feeling ko na, hindi ko na kailangan i-prove sa sarili ko na kaya ko naman. Pero I think na sobrang yun kasi it was when I encountered my first major setback in grade 12, first quarter. It was when muntik na kami bumagsak sa research class. Dahil na rin doon, di ako nag-DR from being consistent ever since. At first, I was sad kasi kung kailan patapos na yung six years, saka pa yun nangyari. The primary reason doon ay nawala na isang chemical sa lab na supposedly common and easy to buy. Who would have thought, di ba? That's our first reaction. At that time, na-feel namin na walang magawa yung group namin kasi bibili pa kami and it would take a couple of weeks or maybe a month. Siguro, the situation would have been within our control if only we realized earlier na mauubos na yun and nakabili na sana kami tagad. So, the lesson I can share with you is you should think ahead para di na lumala yung situation, which to us back then was already out of our control. So, dun sa harap nung duplex dati, yun yung dorm sa harap ng girls' dorm and malapit sa ating teams. Nakaupo lang ako dun malungkot, nagbumuni-muni, and naluha. Buti na lang, I have my friends. Tapos at that moment, naalala ko yung palang paalala sa akin ng parents ko na finish hard and strong. Sa konteksto ng basketball scenes, my father is a coach and I played the sport too. Hanggang di pa tapos yung time sa game, marami pang pwedeng mangyari and pwede pa matalo. Or kung medyo dehado yung team, may time pa to work harder and get the lead. So dapat laging finish strong. Since nasimulan ko na rin naman na strong, tapusin ko na rin ang maganda. So heading to college, tinatakot talaga ito sa puso at isipan ko. And eksakto na rin na may nagsuma ko malaw din na senior namin po high school. And this Sir Jerry message me. Sabi niya, Ika naman ah, sunod na suma. And the next line, challenge, haha. Although nasa isip ko na rin naman yun nun, pero dahil may explicit din na nag-challenge it sa akin, eh di may additional pressure. And although na pressure, I accepted. Ayun, so sabi ko, I will do akats only. As in, no everything. No party, no org, regala naman siguro. May laro naman siguro, pero super limited. Pero in short, aral lang. Kasi in my mind, that's the formula that I need to follow to achieve my student team. Pero sa first year ko pa lang, nakapasok na kagad ako sa org. Then nagparty pa. Nag-attend pa ng concert ng UP Fair. Muwi pa ng lagpas 12 midnight sa dorm, among other things. In short, di na agad nasunod yung role sa sinet ko sa sarili ko. But I did not regret any of this. Kasi one, it was fun and a good break from ACADS. And two, it helped me grow as a person na working with, working for the people. I admit na nakaka-distract ito sa pag-aaral, pero di ko rin pwede alisin kasi I feel na di ko dapat ito mamiss out. So, I changed my formula. What I did was mag-focus when it matters. Kung may exam, focus sa review. Kung may need tapusin, tapusin na muna or isipin or i-plan ahead kung paano gagawin. Para I have time for other things. At the start, Kaya naman, kaso habang tumatagal, mihirap na lang. Well, that's life. Siyempre, it was even harder when I failed my first major long exam. I thought I was prepared sa ganung moment. Pero iba pa rin yung sakit sa puso, lalo na for the past week, I spent most of my time studying. And I decided to adjust again kasi nag-aral naman ako. So siguro, ibahin ko yung style sa pag-aaral ko and bawi next time, review yung mga mali ko and proceed. Basta ang mahalaga, Magpatuloy at tuto. Whenever I encounter such difficulties and namawala ng energy to pursue my goals, first, I rest, syempre. And then second, I think of two things. One, yung sinabi ko kanina na finish hard and strong or simply be consistent. And two, is I try to see myself in the perspective of the future me and think whether or not I will regret the present. I realized na, hmm, I often think that I should have done this, I should have done that. Pero the moment na naisip ko yun, ay most of the time, wala na ako magagawa. So, I changed my perspective again. If I think that the future me will regret the present, I should do everything in my capabilities now para maging okay yun. At least in the future, I am at ease na I did what I get. And para mabawasan din yung pag over So in short, I am trying to satisfy the future. This mindset is what got me through my college years, especially during the pandemic. Although I
Good morning, Ms. Ibicon. Good morning din sa ating campus terapeutic. Thank you, Mr. Evbio. You're really an exemplar of integrity, excellence, and service. And now, uh, let us all rise for the Pisay Him and DOST Him. Oh. Uh -huh. 
conclude our program, let me call on Ma'am Maria Eileen R. Pisino for the closing remarks. You may sit down. To our campus director, Engineer Lorvi Pagorogon, to my fellow MANCO members, faculty and staff, parents and guardians, my dear scholars, good morning. Today, we have just witnessed our students reap the fruits of their hard work discipline, perseverance, and determination even on this very challenging time of pandemic. Of course, behind the successes of these students are the loving and supporting parents, dedicated and competitive teachers, reliable and encouraging friends and classmates. Students, always be thankful of these people around you. And now, as we move on with this rigorous type of learning, which is the blended or the hybrid learnings, learning, Scholars, I want you to always uphold your integrity in everything that you do or say. Always have the courage to face all the challenges that you will encounter in the future. Try to enjoy, if not love, what you do. And most of all, don't forget to rest and take care of yourself. Try to seek help from others if you need to. We will always have these ups and downs that make our life more thrilling and exciting. Congratulations, students. You have worked hard. You and your parents deserve to be proud of these achievements. That ends our program. Thank you very much, everyone. And may the odds be ever on your favor. Thank you. You may now take your snacks and then you may uh, go to the dorm and, so that you can uh, settle there in the dorm.